This time we got a shout out for Derek Doan. Great reason for a shout out. And if you want one, just let me know in the comments below. And now on with the video. What is going on guys? Bringing you a review here today. According to our new After Paul schedule, every Monday will be a weapons review. So we got that going on, or actually Tuesday, my bad. Every Tuesday will be a weapons review. And today we have the five star maxed out ST3C AWD 2016, the new edition, first ever skinned ST3C, fully automatic, small and versatile weapon with its small caliber. This weapon has better stability than the other SMG. Should be other SMGs if it was perfectly translated to English, but whatever. Um, so that's interesting, the, the description already mentions stability, and then the AWD boost, if you don't know, has an improved stability stat, as you see in the description here. This weapons, once again translated a little weird, uh, this weapons belongs to the commemorative awarded 2016 weapons series. All the weapons in the series have an upgraded firepower. They use an, once again another translation mistake, they use an special ammunition that improves the weapon stability. So upgraded firepower is going to be your typical damage increase. Same as all the other skins, same percentage of increase, whatever that is. And then stability is going to be higher. I should have both of the five stars, well I should have other pictures on the wiki to compare, but just to see the stability increase. Um, you know, stability, accuracy, and stability don't change all that much, so a small number change in stability and accuracy can make a big difference. Um, so I'm not sure exactly what the number is, you know, what the exact stability change is for this ST3C, but it is higher than the other editions, and you can look at the wiki to see that. I just, I'm not gonna bring it up right now. Doing live commentary, running behind on my schedule here, trying to get this video out as soon as possible. Um, it will be a little later, but there's a good look at it. The weapons in the series are all mostly black as they start off at their lower star levels. Um, this is an alpha class weapon, which means it's only two stars and higher, but you can only get skinned weapons from four stars and higher, at least in the way the current sal is set up. Um, so we'll never see a 2 or 3 star ST3C AWD, but they do 100%, 100% sure that they exist. You know, if you had a tester account, you would get those weapons, those, you know, that 2 and 3 star on your account. But since you can only pull 4 stars and higher in the cell, this is only available from 4 stars and higher. And when they're at 4 stars, they're mostly black, and 7 stars, mostly yellow. So there it is there. Pretty good gun. Um, I do have some experience with this guy, we sort by level here. I did max out the 6 star, I could make the 7 star right now if I wanted to, uh, but I decided to hold off, you know, just save the burners I guess, and obviously, I mean I knew there would be a skinned version coming, I just want to build every weapon in the game anyways, um, so I'm going to make the 7 star of both the skinned and the regular edition anyways, eventually down the line, but now that the skinned one is here, obviously that will take top priority. So taking a note out of my experience, I found this to be a great ST3C setup as opposed to chasing speed, which you typically do with SMGs. I would focus more on protection with the ST3C. That's what I found to work the best with the regular edition. It could be a little different with the skinned edition, um, but I'm just gonna stick with what I know, what has worked for me. And so we got our Delta Pants Tiger. That'll give us protection against stuns and stopping power, 900 portability, 2808 defense, not bad at all. Then the two-piece Tiger set, that'll give us plus 30% switch speed, so we can switch to our launcher and switch back, you know, a little bit quicker. And this has your protection against assault and LMG, very beneficial in multiplayer. 4233 defense, pretty good. 850 portability, also very good as well. Not to mention, it looks pretty sweet. Still my favorite looking and favorite performance gear out there. And then for the headgear, we do have the Mamba Saboteur Mask. They did just release the AWD 2016 Saboteur Mask, which is basically just a skinned version of this, which is obviously a little bit better, but I have, I might have opened a couple gear grates, I can't even remember. Um, but I did not get the AWD 2016 Saboteur Mask. Once again, it'd be great if they could send me some gear or tester account or something. So, uh, you know, these reviews and I can make a lot more and, you know, a lot better videos, blah, blah, blah. 
But we're gonna go with this setup, got the concussion grenades, got a few of those. I don't usually buy those, but got them from the daily login calendar. You know, another possible setup, I'll just show you guys this real quick. Mostly just came to mind, I don't know, I think I thought of it last night, but you know, I always want stun and stopping power protection. So I'm gonna put that mask on, the halo mask, and then if we go ghost pants, that might get you running a little good. You see defense is a little lower on the ghost pants, portability is a little lower, but we do have plus 10% portability with SMG. 10% must be around 120, so it's about 120 points boost in portability. It's not a nightcrawler weapon, so we don't get the extra boost. And then we still have our PMC Mountain Vest Tiger Edition, whatever they call it. Um, so we still got LMG and Assault Protection. Then obviously the six star Halo Brigade Mask would be better. Um, the five star is close enough, and obviously you could use whatever you have. You know, if you have the four star or even the three star. And that's just going to give us stun, stopping power, protection. Once again, also gives us protection against blinding. So it's arguably better than wearing stun pants. And portability is pretty good. Defense a little low, but you know it is five star and it is headgear. That's you know not terrible for headgear. So that's a decent option. I'll jump into a training match with this setup. I've actually never used it, and it looks like we will be back in 20 seconds. <laughs> looks like I'm out of training energy. Been farming a little bit. All right, so we're back. We got five out of 30 energy enough to do one training match and just gonna give this setup a go for the first time just kind of came to mind like i said and i figured i'd test it out so if i like it maybe i'll stick with this as we do our multiplayer matches um because i don't i don't think the mamba mask is really needed you know it obviously helps but it's like you know it's not necessary um so right off the bat obviously you haven't really seen the other setup before unless you watch my past st3c videos um you see the range there, we're not hitting the cross warehouse, which you wouldn't really expect to with an SMG, but that Mamba mask really does make a huge difference. You can really hit some long shots when you're wearing that, so it's nice. Um, but, you know, if you saw the last setup and compared to this setup, we are moving a lot faster with this setup, running around a lot more. So, if run and gun is more your style, if you like to get out there, be as aggressive as possible. And you also want that stun and stopping power protection. I think this is a great setup. Get that Halo mask. Obviously, six star would be the best addition. And get that PMC Operator Vest Tiger, I think the name is. And if you don't have that, something like the Light Urban Vest would be fine. Um, just something high portability. You know, assault protection is very nice to have. Um, you know, even the regular PMC Mountain Vest, it'll just be a little slower on the portability, but that would still be a decent option in the setup. And then the Ghost Pants, obviously with that plus 10% portability with SMG, um, that's what you'd be shooting for on the lower body. I can't remember off the top of my head if any other pants boost SMG portability. I feel like there might be a lower tier, something lower tier that's like 5% boost or something. I don't know. Um, Definitely don't quote me on that, but you know, if you have this gear option or something like it, it's not bad if you like to play aggressive with SMGs. Um, so, overall, you know, I'm trying to compare the two as I go through. Like I said, this is my first time playing with this setup with the ST3C AWD 2016. You know, I'd honestly probably go with the setup I had on right at the beginning of the video the Delta Pants Tiger the same vest I have on now and the Mamba Saboteur mask. Um, you know, I just think that that two-piece Tiger set bonus is going to be nice for ranked. You know, you got to switch to your launcher a lot, especially when you're playing with SMG. At least that's the way I play. And, um, you know, I think it looks cooler, first of all. And, um, <laughs> you know, I, I guess the Mamba Saboteur mask is nice with the ST3C. So, you know, I think that's a little better setup, at least for my style. You know, you could find your own setup that fits your style, but those are two pretty good options. Um, so let's jump right into multiplayer. Not even gonna bother claiming challenges. Uh, I could give you an update on seasonal challenges, but we're already like 10 minutes into this video. We'll save that for an upcoming video. I have been working on those. Jump into TDM, see if we can find a match or two. I'll try to get two matches in this review, so hopefully we got time to switch our gear. Let's see what I have. Four star, four star, four star. 
Mamba Saboteur Mask. I always have trouble finding that guy. That one went pretty smoothly. And Delta Pants Tiger. We got that. And then our gadgets. We'll just keep those gadgets. Obviously, you could switch it up with some spotters, some med kits if you want to be that guy. I think this is a pretty good ST3C setup. So if you're looking for ideas, give it a try. And looks like we're on aircraft. So once again, that two-piece Tiger set switch speed bonus is going to be nice. Switching from the ST3C to that MK330GL. Atom Edition Grenade Launcher. Yeah, I think I think we got a good setup. Stun protection is always nice on aircraft. It's pretty easy to stun enemies, and likewise, it's pretty easy to get stunned by enemies. So I think we got a pretty good setup here for this match, and we'll see what we can do. I will not be evolving this weapon at the end of this video. I do not have another 5-star ST3C AWD 2016 at this point, uh, but hopefully soon, you know, I'd love to build the 7-star, obviously. I also really want to build the DMR just because I have the regular 7-star DMR, um, and, you know, like I said, I want to build every weapon, but I think the DMR is up there on my list. Um, HMG would be cool, but it's a little low on my list. I'd rather build the Atom Edition, and I've been working on the Atom Edition recently. Um, I think I posted a video with the 5 star maxed, um, so I'd rather have the Atom Edition for the HMG still, but, you know, stability bonus on the HMG could be pretty good. I haven't touched it, I think I pulled a couple 4 stars, but haven't touched it at all. Obviously it's hard to tell much with a 4 star. Oh, there we go, that was a nice shot. This AGL is going to take us out, there's no way. Trying to see where he's shooting from, though. Alright, so he's still sitting back there. I know I got a little quiet trying to do live commentary and not look like a complete fool, just like I did there. The more I talk, the more I die. Let's see. Some different spawns, definitely some different spawns here. Got one down there, test the range. Oh, so close, so close. See, that's that's one of the most frustrating things that my teammate that was standing right there doesn't realize what just happened there and he doesn't just like whip around that corner and take out that guy. Like he had maybe like 1% health left. Like that's one of the most frustrating, possibly, you know, one of the possibly most frustrating things in this game. Teammates are just so oblivious. I'm sure I do it myself as well, you know, I'm not perfect by any means. Let's see, now we got a teammate behind me, stands right behind me, I can't get back out of cover, but we did get a kill there. Looks like we're still spawning back here. Try to run out with this teammate. Is he gonna make it? Yes, he is. I need like one more teammate to run out, we could have taken out Santos Jr. there. You know, you really got to run up with your teammates. That's the only way to get out of these traps. I'm going to go for it. And we got another guy there, Jonathan, the five-star UNKCQB Charlie. This is not a good match at all. Got this guy. You know, if you got an AGL, move up to this forward spot. AGL's weakness is its range, you gotta get closer. Uh, figured I'd try to run out, see if we beat anybody on the host migration. This is definitely gonna be a pretty terrible match. Almost, a little higher. Keep missing the fire button. Pretty frustrating. Got a hit marker. Man, this GL is like not working the way it used to. There we go. Uh, I didn't know where he was. Would have been a great time to run up with some teammates, but obviously there's no communication. About to get blown up by another AGL. 
Man, I cannot hit a shot. This is not good, not good, not good. There's all that dust in there, you can't even line up a shot, you know? Getting really frustrated with this match, honestly don't even feel like playing anymore. But, gotta post a video, man. Gotta keep it going. That was incredibly stupid. 5, 8, and 0. This gun definitely has more potential than that. Obviously, it's really hard having two people on your team in an aircraft spawn trap. Jump into another match, hopefully, finally, do something good with it here. Alright guys, looks like we found a match on Desert Pit, some more ranked TDM. Not sure how this will go with an SMG as well, could be interesting. I don't know, I usually do pretty good on this map with the SMR, something longer range, but I don't know, we'll see if we can try to zigzag between barriers and get it done. I feel like I always spawn on this side and in this spot. I'm just going to run up to the right, I'll probably die, but just going to go for it. Got one to the left, we're going to keep pushing up, nobody up there yet. There's one with the Mastodon gear, no chance. What is that, the full 5 star wasted Mastodon set with the 7 star CQR2000 Charlie. There he is back there. One running up to the left there. He went up the middle. Uh oh. Man, I thought he was gonna run out of ammo. Almost had him. Well, I did get him, but almost had him without dying myself. There's Santos again. I see one in the back. Two in the back. This is gonna be tough. He's got the Mastodon in the back, backing him up. Try and see if he runs out to the right. Oh, we got one up here. Look at this guy. Free kill. We'll take it. We got this guy sitting here. I think he knows I'm here. I'm going to run out to the right. Oh, what was that? That thing just died. Jeez. Thought that thing was going to roll or something. All right, teammates running up there. Looks like he made it alright, so I guess the Mastodon has moved. Oh, we got one over here, we'll take him. Risky, but we're just going to chase him. There we go. Now we'll get up top here. Alright, we made it safe into their side of the map. Trying to look in the top left, can't really tell. Oh, look at this guy. I don't have sound right now because I'm doing live commentary or else I probably would have heard him. I got nothing against camping, man. I'm just going to camp here. Got to check out the other side real quick. Oh, shouldn't have engaged. Should have left him go. Can we stun him? Can we stun him? No, that did not stun him. Are you serious? There we go. We took out the Mastodon. That was some skill right there. Oh, oh, oh. Hold on. Hold on. Oh, come on. I thought it was behind the wall. Dang. Mastodon gear is very strong, but... It's definitely not unbeatable, you know, so I think it's balanced. I think that's him up there. Oh, come on. Grenade, really? We're throwing grenades now. That's how it's going to be. Damn, they are everywhere. Got one up there. You know, I really don't think that this is an SMG map. I think when they introduced it, the description was like, oh, you can, you know, there's all these barriers you can use for cover. You can even use a shotgun on this map. Run out of ammo, run out of ammo, caught him on the reload, there we go. But I really don't think that's the case. That's really a long-range weapon map. 
Try not to die again. I know there was one up there somewhere in that area. Pretty terrible again. A little 7, 4, and 1. I guess that's not bad for Desert Pit with that little 5 star SMG. I guess we'll see if we can find one more match. It's gonna be a longer video. Probably gonna be a couple hours late on the upload, but we're grinding. We are grinding. Alright, here we go. We got some ranked TDM on Terminal Station. This will be our last match of the review, no matter what. It's a decent map for SMGs. Would have been nice to get a match on close quarters. Um, what else is there? Train yard could be okay. There's one there. Test the range. Is that the Mastodon? Ah, uh, can't quite get behind the cover. Looks like they were all up on that right side. They had that locked down. Uh, we'll try to move to the right. It's going to be risky. Oh, see one popping out. Alright, so we're going to go for the ultimate flank. Just going to assume that this side is a bit safer and just run straight up. Oh, oh, hold on. <laughs> Wow, uh, 7 star SMR 16 Bravo. It's not looking good for me today, guys. I'm not sure if that explosion was for my teammates or an enemy or what. It's also really hard to play without sound. I know I mentioned it, but. I saw one yeah, on the top left there. Is it going to be possible? Bounce over, bounce over, bounce over. No, really? Dang, we cannot do anything. Looks like he had assault pants on anyway, but... They are concussions, so they do some damage. Right side looks clear. We're gonna try and charge to the back. Really behind me. Can my teammates take him out maybe? Uh oh, uh oh. Really I can't get behind? Wow. This is brutal man. This is brutal. This is probably the worst I've ever played in my life. Man, that SMR, even at four stars, I was totally behind that wall as he killed me. Is the SMR guy still there? Yeah, there's someone back there. We're going to try and loop around to the right. Risky run, risky run. Man, they are all over. Teammates aren't locking down anything. There's one behind there still, are you serious? This is insane man, this is insane. I feel like I'm playing 1v4 with a crappy SMG. How is he still back there? Jesus Christ, get a, get a friggin' tent and a bonfire. Whatever, man. I don't even feel like playing anymore. I'm done. I quit after Pulse. So the last video. That's a five star ST3C AWD 2016. Minus 10, might as well have just left the match. Pretty freaking solid. That's all I gotta say about that.
pretty solid. It's not a bad gun. Those are just terrible games, so yeah, I'll be back when I'm back. That was frustrating. <laughs>